So is it clear? Is it clear to you? So if you really look at what we have been trying to do is not to get rid of the feeling but to ensure the right feeling, right? The feeling of love, the feeling of compassion, right? All this we want to ensure. So it's not getting rid of the feeling. It is to ensure right feeling. Getting rid of the rid of the wrong feeling, right? The feeling of aversion, the feeling of jealousy, all this this attachment. If you look at the attachment and the aversion, the attachment is essentially over evaluation. Aversion is under evaluation. Both of them are not the right feeling. So, what is important is to ensure right feeling on the basis of right. And that is what we are trying to work out. I was just discussing here, as long as you are going by assumptions, right, which you have not verified whether they are right or wrong, right, and you are recognizing and fulfilling on the basis of this, okay, you are likely to get into trouble. Put others also into trouble. So if I assume something and recognize and fulfill on the basis of this, you assume something else. Then I will exhibit one kind of conduct, you will exhibit another kind of conduct, right? So if you think you belong to, you know, one kind of community or one religion or one, you know, kind of uh, race and the other person belongs to another race, right? For example, if you belong to a white race and you think white is superior, right? Then you will behave with the white in a different manner. You will behave with the black in a different manner. Right? So there will be uncertainty in your conduct. Right? But whether this assumption is correct or not, you have not verified. <coughs> so as long as you are operating with this, Unfortunately, most of us are operating with this, right? You are in the area of problem. This is the area of problem. This problem of indefinite conduct, right? What is the way out? How do you get out of this problem of indefinite conduct or the problem? Yes. So, the way to get out of it is to know about the reality. So, if I have the knowledge, if I have the understanding, if I have the knowing, right, of the reality, okay, then my assumptions will become correct. Therefore, my recognition and fulfillment will become correct. So, if you start operating with this wider circle, this is the area of the That is the definite conduct. We have to move from here to here. So what we need to do is to have this understanding, have the knowledge, the knowing, right? If the knowing is there, the assuming will be set right. Therefore, recognition and fulfillment will be set right. 
We have been assuming without knowing. If you know, then your assumption will be based on the knowing. The example which I would take is just this. Here we have tried to know about human being, understand about human being. Right? Now, if this is the understanding of human being which you have, Will it be same for the black and white? Or it will be different for black and white? This understanding of this you know, human being, is it same for the black and for the white? For the Indian and the Buddhist? For male and female? For a small boy and the old man? This is going to be the same for all of us. <coughs> Before that, you could differentiate on the basis of your attention. But the moment you have the knowing of human being, understanding of human being, and that is what we have been doing today, if I have this understanding, I can see that the other human beings are like me. Right? So my assumption about them would be proper. Therefore, my recognition and fulfillment with them will be proper, right? It will be definite. So I will have the right feeling for you, that feeling of trust, feeling of respect. Right? And when I have to share with you, I will feeling this, you know, share this feeling of respect with you in regard of whether you are black or white, whether you are Indian or Muslim, whether you are male or female, right? whether you are old or young, that feeling of respect is there. And I will share this feeling with any one of you. In that sense, my conduct will become definite. If I understand human being, if I know human being. If I don't know human being, as such, then I will have different assumptions about human being. <coughs> Because we have different assumptions about human being, we have different way of recognizing and fulfilling. So you can see the total problem which is lying all over the you know nature, the existence, is only in human being. Others are all in order. <laughs> in human being also, the problem is not with the body, the problem is with the cell. Right? And in that self also, what is the problem? Problem is assuming without knowing. That is the only problem. Therefore, what I need to do to set myself in order is to ensure this knowing. Right? Ensure right understanding. If the right understanding is there, okay, my assumptions will be set right. Therefore, my recognition will be set right, fulfillment will be set right. Therefore, I will have the definite conduct. That is why, from the first day, we are saying education and sanskar is the most important activity for human being. The right understanding is the most important activity for human being, the basic need of human being. That is why we said first priority is right understanding. Then right understanding with relationship. Then right understanding with relationship and physical facility. <coughs> so this knowing, this understanding is something very fundamental. And if you don't have this and you are operating into this, with this, you are going to get into trouble. Some of my friend was just telling me, you know, the break, that, you know, people who have undergone this workshop also exhibit some indefinite conduct. <laughs> <laughs> so I told, I told them, 
that this workshop is not a miracle or it is not a guarantee that you will not remain a problem. It is only saying that as long as you continue to assume things without understanding, okay, you will exhibit indefinite conduct. Whatever we have written here, if you assume this to be true without understanding, without your self-verification, what you will do is, you already have lot of assumptions. You will take this as another set of assumptions. Right? So you will exhibit some conduct of what you were assuming before. You will start exhibiting some conduct based on what you have assumed now. Right? But that would not mean that you will start exhibiting a definite conduct. This definite conduct will come only when it has resulted into the knowing, understanding of all this, then evaluating back your assumptions which you had before right? and getting rid of those assumptions. So only when that takes place, right, you will exhibit a definite human conduct. Till then, you have to keep working on yourself. Right? So if you look at this workshop, this workshop is an initiation of the process okay, of start looking into yourself, you know, exploring within okay, and trying to understand all these issues. Right? Trying to understand the human being, the individual, the family, the society, the nature and existence. You know, and on the basis of this self-exploration, to ensure the knowing of all this, when you know all this, then you can also you know, ensure an assumption on the basis of this. Further, you have a lot of accumulation in the past, right? All that have to be evaluated. Otherwise, what will happen? You will start operating with this and you will also operate with old things. In that sense, you will exhibit all kind of characters, right? all kind of conduct. So certainly, if you go through this workshop, there is no guarantee <laughs> that you will start exhibiting definite human conduct. Okay? But if you go through this workshop, it opens up the possibility okay, for you to start exploring into yourself, you know, ensure this knowing for yourself, right? And then ensuring all this on the basis of this knowing. If that happens, you will exhibit a definite human condition. Okay. So, is it worth to start this process? Yes. Or not? Yes. Or you, are think, you think you are fine otherwise? <laughs> so, if you are fine otherwise, it's okay. If you are not fine otherwise, the process has to be initiated. And I was telling that you have already accumulated so much. You know, as we talk about the self now, we will see how much you have accumulated as your desire, thought and expectation. It has been dumped into you by your parents, right? your family members, by the teacher, by the TV, right? radio, everything all around is dumping so much of desire, thought and expectation in you, which means whole lot of assumptions are being accumulated. So even when you get into the knowing part, you realize that the assumption based on this knowing will be some set of assumptions. But you have already had a lot of them sitting inside you, right? Call it garbage or call it useful, whatever it is, right? And you have been operating with it till now. Now that this new input has come, you will have to look into all this, evaluate all that you have accumulated over this. Yes, no, and over the birth, all that has to be investigated, you know, and found out whether it is worth for you, not worth for you. Till then, there is a possibility of uncertain conduct. But it is worth starting the process. What we are saying, it is worth starting the process, okay, even though it will not get completed in one workshop, right. So, it is essential to start the process. 
And the purpose of this work is to initiate this process of self-exploration, self-investigation, and therefore ultimately the process of knowing, process of understanding. <coughs> so you can see, the problem in the world is problem in human, in human. Problem in human being is the problem in the cell. Problem in the cell is recognizing and fulfilling this on the basis of assumption without knowing. That is the problem. What is the solution? Knowing. That is the solution. Right understanding is the solution. So right understanding is the solution to all the problems which we have around. So only if we have the right understanding, the knowledge, then our assumptions will be right. Our recognition and fulfillment will be right. And that's what we are trying to do. Trying to ensure right understanding, the knowledge, the understanding, the gyan. So that is the difference between the body and the self. This you can start studying in yourself. You know, the level of body, the recognition and fulfillment is definite. At the level of self, <coughs> this recognition and fulfillment depends upon the assumption, which in turn depends upon the knowing or not knowing. So if this is the case, okay, what I will do is to sum this up, draw this line further. So this is the block on the left. This is the block on the right. See? You can see that if you have to fulfill human being, you have to take care of this left block, you have to take care of the right block. Because the human being is coexistence of self, I and the body. I will give some name to these you know, two blocks. Okay. This block on the right, <coughs> the world of material. Right. This block on the right is called the world of consciousness. In fact, the identification of this consciousness is by way of this knowing and assuming. So the units which have got knowing and assuming are called consciousness. You need which have only activity of recognizing and functioning. It's called material. So now you can see that the human being is coexistence of the world of consciousness and the world of material. The need of the consciousness is happiness, which, which can be fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling, which is also the activity of Consciousness, right? So the need of consciousness can be fulfilled by the activity of consciousness. It is not fulfilled by the material things. On the other hand, if you look at the body, it is material in nature. Its needs are material, physical facilities, the food, the shelter, and it is fulfilled by material things, not by consciousness activity. Therefore, I need to take care of this world of consciousness. I need to take care of this world of material. Right? Because the human being is coexistence of this world of consciousness and the world of material. If we understand this, we can understand what is the problem, you know, in what we have been doing till now. What we have been trying to do is to focus on this world of material. Right? 
and trying to satisfy this world of consciousness on the basis of this world of material. This does not happen. That is why you go on accumulating lot of physical facility, but this happiness is not ensured. Because it cannot be ensured. The happiness is not ensured by way of material things because it cannot be ensured by way of material things. This is the need of the consciousness and it has to be fulfilled by the consciousness. Any amount of material thing would not ensure continuity of happiness. And that is what is happening, that you are going on accumulating physical facility, but you don't feel satisfied, right? You are not able to ensure continuity of happiness and you think that you have less, therefore you are not able to ensure continuity of happiness. So you start accumulating more and more and you get into a loop. So, as I was asking, that who are more <coughs> indulging in corruption? The people who have less physical facility or more physical facility? <coughs> more physical facility, right? Yes. People who are educated or uneducated? <laughs> <coughs> so that is the inherent contradiction that we have got into. We are trying to fulfill this with the help of this. And this does not happen, simply. However hard you try, okay, even the, everything is given to one person, you know, everything that is there in the world, you know, in the earth, is given to one person. Still, this will not ensure this. So look into this, look into this block of consciousness, this block of material. Right? Study into each of the statements that have been made here. And you can see a lot of, you know, things have been, you know, posed here. And you have to go on investing each one of them, you know, go on investment, you know, do the investigation in each one of them and see for yourself whether it is right or not. Number one. Number two, whether this world can ensure this world, fulfillment of this world or not. Right? And vice versa. And whether you need to ensure both fulfillment of this as well as fulfillment of this. If both are required, are we ensuring both? Or we are largely focusing on the right side. What is the status? That was the question we asked yesterday also, right? How much time and effort you are investing for physical facility? Right? How much time and effort you are, you know, investing for relationship or understanding? Trying to uh, satisfy 
the need of the left through the need of the right, through uh, the way of the right. So I think we think by consuming alcohol or taking drugs, we think actually we will get, um, uh, we'll fulfill the needs of the left. I don't know, you have, do you have any comments on this? Yeah, in fact, what we are thinking is that if not ensure happiness by taking drugs, at least avoid unhappiness. <laughs> and, and, and that is very true, you know. If you look at this you know, drug input that we are taking, okay, more tense you are, more unhappy you are, right? You take the more drug, more alcoholism, okay? more you know, smoking. So all these will increase as your tension increases or unhappiness increases. So what you are trying to do is not ensure happiness, but at least forget about the unhappiness. So we are trying to reduce unhappiness by way of taking all this. And as tension is increasing, you know, the frustration is increasing, you know, the depression is increasing, the unhappiness is increasing, you are trying to forget more and more of yourself by way of taking all this. So you are trying to take care of this side, through this side. Okay. And what does it result into? It does not result into the continuity of happiness. In fact, it starts resulting into the bad health of the body. Because you are taking it here. Right? So it will have impact here. So those who are taking to alcoholism or to drugs, right? smoking, all this, the health is getting affected. This is not taken care of. So what you are achieving through this, all this kind of thing is, at least you are trying to avoid unhappiness. You are trying to un, you know, run away from it. And I must also mention you that what we are doing is just the other way. We are trying to make you aware of yourself. Aware of your unhappiness and happiness. Right? And then we are trying to find out how we can ensure the continuity of happiness. So for some of you, it might even appear to begin with that your unhappiness has been increased <laughs> when you are going through this process. <laughs> what is happening is, not that your unhappiness is increasing, but you are, you are becoming aware of your unhappiness. Obviously, you are trying to divert yourself <laughs> because you are unhappy within and you didn't want to look at yourself. So you are getting, you know, trying to divert from, you know, your state of being by way of watching TV or by way of, you know, taking to some music or some such things. We are saying it's not good to run away from your state of being, right? Let's face it. Let's try to understand it. Let us see where we are. Let's see whether we want to where we want to be. Whether we can be where we want to be or not. So all that we are doing. Okay. So it is right, taking or making you aware of your own self. So when you become aware of your own self, it might appear, you know, that there is so much of contradiction, there is so much of unhappiness right, in you, but it is better to face it, begin with, right, rather than running away from it. So all these drugs and all, is, even TV, right, is a way of running away from yourself. For example, look at these people, when you watch TV, even if there are hundred channels, right, you run through all the hundred channels, right? And at the end you decide to watch one of them, you know, because you have no option left. <laughs> <laughs> so it is not that you are satisfied with it. It is only that you are trying to forget yourself, right? So you are trying to forget yourself by watching the TV. So that is one kind of addiction. Some people take to eating, some people take to drinking, some people take to no drugs and so on and so forth. Okay, so 
I would sum this up saying that look into the left block, look into the right block, see whether both of them are essential for you or you can do away with any one of them. Also see whether one can ensure the other or one cannot ensure the other, both of them are required.